You want to win, don't you? Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about overcoming evil. Yeah, the Bible says that we should overcome evil with good, not try to fight evil and nastiness with more nastiness. You know, there was this one time where it was about to snow, and it was in the fall, and there were all these leaves on the ground. And it's not good for there to be leaves on the ground when it snows, because you got to get those leaves up, otherwise it'll hurt the grass later. And so my dad and I, we were out in the yard, and we were raking, and we were trying to get all the leaves raked up and put into bags before the snow came. And at my house, we have a big oak tree, and it, it drops lots of leaves and, and lots of acorns. And while we were raking the leaves, our neighbor across the street, his his name's Mr. Hamilton. He's He's not very nice. He's kind of a grouch. He's kind of grumpy. He's the kind of person where if if you are playing with a ball and it goes into his yard, you're you're never getting that ball back. And while we were raking up our yard, he came out onto his front porch and he yelled at us across the street. He said, you know, all these leaves in my yard are your leaves. And then he just turned around and went back into his house. And his yard did have a ton of leaves in them. It looked like he hadn't raked at all. So I don't know if you know what the leaves on an oak tree look like, but they're really like pokey up on the sides. And our neighbor across the street, Mr. Hamilton, the leaves in his yard were definitely not oak leaves. They were from his trees. I don't actually know what kind of trees they are, but they're like, they have really rounded sides and just a pokey top. They don't look anything like the leaves from our tree. And so after we raked up the leaves in our front yard, we had to go do the backyard before the snow came. But but before we went to the backyard, my dad said, come with me. And so he and I went across the street to Mr. Hamilton's house. And I was like, oh man, they're about to get in a fight. And so we walked up to Mr. Hamilton's house, and my dad rang the doorbell, and Mr. Hamilton like kind of opened the door just a little bit. He left the screen door closed, and he looked super scared because my dad isn't like humongous big, but he's pretty big. He could totally fight Mr. Hamilton. That would be easy. And so Mr. Hamilton came to the door, and he was like scared, but he was like, yeah, what do you want? And I'm all like ready for my dad to put Mr. Hamilton in his place, you know, tell him that, that he was wrong and he shouldn't have yelled at us or, you know, something like that. Maybe get Mr. Hamilton to apologize. But instead, my dad said, Hey, Mr. Hamilton, I just wanted to see if it would be okay with you if my son and I raked your leaves for you. And Mr. Hamilton and I said the exact same thing at the exact same time, which was, Huh? And my dad said, Yeah, there's snow coming in here pretty soon, and and I thought it might be nice for us to rake up your yard for you. We got the leaves, we got the rakes, we're all ready to go. We just need your permission. And Mr. Hamilton was like, Uh, yeah, fine. And then he closed the door. And then my dad walked down off the porch, and I'm still standing there like, what just happened? And I turned around, and my dad tossed me a rake, and and we started raking Mr. Hamilton's yard, even though we didn't have to. I must have looked angry, because I was angry, but my dad my dad said, are you okay, Douglas? You look mad. And I was like, yeah, Dad, these aren't our leaves. And my dad said, well, what do you think we should have done? And I said, you should have made Mr. Hamilton apologize for yelling at us and told him that these are his leaves, and he needs to rake his own leaves. My dad said, well, that's one way of doing it, but I promise you that would not have worked. My dad said, you think if I went and yelled at Mr. Hamilton, he would have apologized? And I thought, well, you know, no, I guess. He probably just would have yelled back. He's super grouchy. And then my dad said that we're all in a battle between good and evil. And sometimes that battle is inside of us, but sometimes that battle is outside too. My dad told me that you don't win that battle by, by being more mean to people than they are to you. He said that the Bible says that we should overcome evil with good. We won, big time. And I told him, well, this sure doesn't feel like winning. And he said, yeah, well, fighting a spiritual battle is hard. Most good things are. But also, watch this. And just as my dad said that, Mr. Hamilton came out of the house, and he had a look on his face that I hadn't seen before, because he always had like a really grouchy look on his face. But this time he looked, he looked not like scared, Kind of sad, I guess. Also, maybe a little bit of happy. And he came over on the porch and he said, Hey, fellas, I just wanted to tell you that I was sorry for hollering at you. I just haven't been able to get out and rake for a while because of my bad back. Thank you, fellas, for doing this. It really means a lot to me. And then he turned around and shuffled back inside. And I was just, like, flabbergasted. I I had no idea he was going to come out and apologize. I'd never seen him do anything like that before. And my dad said, Sometimes... When you win the spiritual fights, you even win the earthly fights. And so we finished raking up Mr. Hamilton's yard, and we took the bags over to our house, and and then we went into the backyard, and we raked the rest of our yard. And we didn't totally beat the snow. We had to, we had to rake in the snow a little bit, but it was okay. And the whole time I was thinking about all the times that people had been kind of mean to me and how I had been mean back, right, because they deserve it. 
And I was just thinking, how would things have turned out differently if I had been kind to them? Even when they weren't kind to me. I bet things would have turned out a lot better. Because when people are mean to us and we're mean back to them, Satan wins. Not God. But when we show kindness and love and mercy and, and grace to other people, God wins. And we're on God's team. So we win too. So my challenge to you guys today is that when someone is mean to you, I want you to be kind to them. That's like a really hard challenge. That's, that's not an easy thing. I realize I'm not asking you to do something easy. That's hard. Super counterintuitive. It seems opposite of what you should do. But I promise you, it is what you should do. Not just because God said so, which he does, but because that's the best way to get the best result. The best way to win is to overcome evil with good. It might not always turn out as well as it did for us with Mr. Hamilton, but I promise you that every single time you show kindness to someone who, who is mean to you, you are winning a battle for the kingdom of God. You are winning a battle for Jesus Christ. I think that's pretty awesome. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good.